today we're going to be looking at this pretty good looking thermal tape case not only does it come with three 14 centimeter fans pre-installed which two are argb it supports anything from mini itx all the way up to full size atx supports up to 370 millimeter graphics cards as well and it's ideal for gamers or even a professional <laughs> The Thermaltake Series 300 TG ARGB Snow Mini Tower Chassis combines style and functionality with its tempered glass side panel and three pre-installed ARGB fans for optimal airflow and customizable lighting. This mid-tower case supports Mini ITX to ATX motherboards, accommodating graphics cards up to 370mm and includes a PSU shroud for a tidy setup. It's ideal for both gaming and professional builds and offers a sleek, efficient design for high-performance PC systems. The packaging is a sturdy brown box with black print featuring an image of the product and a sticker indicating the inclusion of ARGB fans. The side of the box lists all the specifications clearly as well. Inside the box you'll find the case along with black and white manual, there's also a cardboard box containing standard accessories like screws, a PC speaker, cable ties and Razer cable bolts for vertical GPU mounting. The I.O. panel on the top includes a power button, indicator lights, a USB Type-C port, two USB Type-A ports, a mic jack, a headphone jack and a reset button. There is also a removable magnetic dust filter for easy cleaning. The front panel is metal with two 140mm ARGB fans installed behind it. The Thermaltake logo is positioned at the bottom on the silver frame which also serves as a pull handle to remove the front panel. Behind the front panel there is an additional removable filter for dust protection. The tempered glass side panel covers about 75% of the side, providing a clear view of your components. Towards the bottom, there are ventilation holes in the PSU area with a dust filter inside. There's also a panel near the front that can be removed to install an optional LCD screen. From the side, you can also see the thickness and quality of the front panel. The reverse side features a full metal panel designed to match the aesthetics of the other side. At the bottom there are air vents near the PSU location, also with a dust filter inside. The back of the case is pretty standard, featuring a pre-installed 140mm fan, 7 PCIe expansion slots and additional venting. It's also nice to see that the PCI slots are actually screwed in rather than being bits of metal you have to twist and turn. One thing to note, no vertical mounting system is included with the system. The bottom of the case includes four feet with high clearance. Also comes with a removable dust filter that can be removed from the front and a mounting spot for an additional fan. Inside the case there is ample room for various components, there are plenty of cutouts for cable management with rubberized sections to protect cables passing through compartments. The pre-installed cables are neatly arranged, although a multicoloured audio cable end might be an eyesore in a white or black setup. The top and front can fit either two 140 or three 120mm fans. The rear can also accommodate either a 120mm or 140mm fan and the bottom can fit an additional either 120 or 140mm fan as well. The case also supports liquid coolers, on the top you can fit either a 240 or 280mm, 240, 280 or 360 on the front and a 120 on the rear. And it's important to note that a 260mm radiator will not fit on the top. 
The case supports Mini ITX, Micro ATX and ATX motherboards. It also accommodates CPU coolers with a height of up to 185mm, PSUs up to 220mm and GPUs up to 370mm in length without the front radiator. If you decide to install a front radiator, that could reduce it down to around 330 millimeters. The case itself does not actually have any ARGB lighting. The ARGB lighting comes from the fans which have been put into the case. There's also no switch on the top which you can use to change the lights. You have to link them into your motherboard or some sort of hub or controller to control the lights separately. Extras are available for the case including a vertical GPU mount and an optional LCD screen. Bear in mind though that LCD screen could cost you more than the actual case. Down to sound levels and airflow, in all honesty it really depends on how you're going to set the machine up. If you're going to stick all the fans on 100% and stick 100 fans in there, it's going to be a lot louder and give you a lot more airflow. But as standard, you've got a decent airflow and it's not too loud, but again, it's all down to what you decide to install in the machine. Some of the issues we came across with the case. First of all, the case does not support that 360mm radiator on the top. You've got limited storage space with no brackets at the bottom of the case to add in extra things like extra hard drives or SSDs. Also, on the case itself, there is no ARGB. The ARGB lighting is actually on the fans, what are included with the case. There is no button on the case to adjust any of the lighting modes. You have to do that through software, via your motherboard, or some sort of separate hub or controller. Also, the optional LCD screen is expensive, potentially costing more than the case itself. So in summary, the Thermaltake Series 300 TG ARGB Snow MIDI Tower Case chassis offers a blend of style and functionality with excellent airflow, customizable lighting and support for high performance components. Despite a few limitations, it's a solid choice for both gaming and professional builds. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.